Okay, question nine. A student devised the following reaction scheme starting with one methylcyclohexane. This one down here, okay. In reaction one, one methylcyclohexane reacts with hydrogen bromide to produce two compounds. Draw a structural formula for compound X. So they've got the two possible compounds. In this one, you can see that the bromine is attached to the same carbon as the methyl. In the other one, the bromine would be attached down here. So full structural formula for it. Make sure that you've got her as kind of in the right place. And there we go. Okay. Uh, reaction 1 obeys Markovnikov's rule. Explain with reference to the carbocation intermediate why compound X is a minor product. Okay, so you're not going to be able to just quote Markovnikov and talk about the number of hydrogen um, substituent groups or anything like that. What you've got to talk about is the carbocation intermediate. So the minor product, so the minor product is linked to your less stable carbocation intermediate. That's pretty much it. And you obviously can go the other way and say that the major product is going to be for the more, from the more stable carbocation intermediate. Okay, suggest a reaction, sorry, a reagent that could be used in reaction two. Let's go up to reaction two. Right, so in reaction two, what have we got? We've got a um, nitrile group which is being hydrolyzed to this because we go to a carboxylic. So that you need to know, just a straight knowledge thing, that we're looking for a dilute acid to do that. So name a dilute acid. Make sure you're saying it's dilute by putting the AQ. If you put it just to, if you just said hydrochloric, um, you wouldn't get it because that's not stating that it's, that it's in solution and dilute. Okay. Reaction three is likely to undergo an SN1. Use curly arrow notation, draw the mechanism. I just lifted it. You can see here from the MART scheme. Um, so what they're saying is how nice of them. You don't need to go to here, um, but you do need to have shown both of these stages. So this is your first one and there's your second. Okay, so you've got the, the bromine taking the two electrons and leaving and then leaving the carbocation intermediate, which is then being attached, attacked, sorry, by the, the OH minus. Okay, and lastly, name compound Y. Right, so compound Y, where are we going? Can't find compound Y now. Oh, here we go, up the top, sorry. Right, so compound Y, up here. Um, so we've got, it's not the nicest, it's an ether, which is fine. Um, what we've got is a methyl group attached to a cyclohexane group. Um, and that's going to be your biggest change. So that's going to be the one that you're going to put at the end. So one methyl cyclohexane uh, is your end. And we've then got a methyl group attached to the oxy. So and also attaching to carbon one, that would be important. So one methoxy, one methyl cyclohexane. Um, there are several different acceptable ones on the mark scheme for this one okay and is that us yes that's us